hi my name is Soph and this was a really heavily requested video so how to stay motivated so first thing you want to do is set goals what are you trying to achieve um, because without this you're just wandering aimlessly um, and this is a lot easier when you have like an end goal in mind so maybe it's a university that you want to go to or maybe something shorter term like a specific grade that you want to get in a test so basically you want to break it down from like your big goal so maybe that's your dream university your dream job something like that into smaller goals so maybe that's getting certain GCSE or A level grades and then you can break that down into smaller goals so maybe it's to complete this bit of work or that bit of revision or just do whatever you feel like you need to do in order to get to your next goal um, so you almost end up with like a pyramid um, the next thing is that it is much easier to stay motivated when you are doing things that you love so basically when you're choosing subjects for say GCSE or A level um, pick ones that you love because it will be much easier to sit down and do the work otherwise you'll be thinking about it going oh I really don't want to do it I really don't like English and it's like well why did you pick it then I mean obviously at GCSE there are some subjects you have to do um, but where possible choose options that you love because it will just make the whole process a lot easier um, the next thing I sometimes do if I'm really struggling is I'll say right I'm gonna do 20 minutes of X and I will set a timer for 20 minutes and when that 20 minutes is up uh, basically often I find that actually I've really got into whatever I was doing and I'll end up doing like another 20 minutes um, but basically I say to myself you're not getting up until that 20 minutes is over and often you'll find that by the end you're totally in the zone and yeah you're good to go for the day. Um, the next thing that a lot of people find helpful is the app Forest so you like plant a tree and basically if you go on your phone during that time the tree dies and then you have a dead tree in your garden and that's sad um so basically that's supposed to like motivate you to not go on your phone um but yeah definitely if you are a person who gets distracted by your phone put it away um personally i put my phone on airplane mode silent and all of that and i put it under my pillow when i'm working so that it's not there um but generally i don't have much of a problem with my phone to be honest so personally i don't use an app like forest but i know that a lot of people do find it really helpful um, similarly, um, study with me is if that's your kind of thing, um, pop one on, I've got loads on my channel, um, and basically then it feels like you've got a study buddy. Um, I tend not to watch study with me as myself, um, I mean I find it much more productive to film them actually than to watch them, um, but I do like, um, the videos that are like, get productive with these. And basically seeing someone else like sort out their life because then I'm like oh I should be doing something and then I'll go and do it. Um, alternatively you could change your environment so maybe go to the library or um, stay late after school to get your work done just so that you're not always sat in your room. I mean obviously that's not possible at the moment in lockdown but when things go back to normal that is definitely something you could do for now like just go down to the kitchen or the dining room or just switch it up a bit. Um, before you start, go to the toilet, eat something, drink something, and make sure that you are the right temperature. So if it's cold, put a jumper on, or if it's too hot, then open the window or something, um, just so that you don't have an excuse to then get up when you do start. Um, the next thing is don't do the same thing for more than an hour. So, I don't know, say you're doing exam questions and you've done an hour of physics after that hour unless you're still really in the zone don't force yourself to do more like go do something else maybe you want to do some flashcards or you want to watch a youtube video of someone explaining it just switch it up so that it doesn't become really monotonous and um, the next thing is to get into a routine so maybe you want to follow your school timetable so that like every Monday you get up and you do maths um, 
or maybe you set yourself a target like every day you do a minimum of one exam paper so it can be as structured or as relaxed as you like but I think having something really helps. Um, if your friends are driven and you think this would work then maybe try doing study dates. Um, I used to do these all the time and I found them really helpful but then again I know that for a lot of people if they have their friends over to supposedly do work they're not actually going to do the work and they will just end up talking so I think this depends a lot on your circumstances but if it's something that you think might work then give it a go. Um, next thing is a motivation wall. So basically um, usually it's a wall in your bedroom um, or part of a wall and you stick up reasons why you're doing what you're doing. So for me I have loads of pictures above my bed of Cambridge which I actually did a couple of months ago obviously when A-levels were still on um, but they're pretty so I've kept them there um, and it says you want to live and study here then work hard and get those A-stars. So basically it's just reminding me why I'm doing it. Um, I know with all these like study with me there's a lot of pressure to do really long hours like I've seen ones that are like 12 hour study with me's and stuff honestly don't w work more than like eight hours a day um because if you do that you're just going to burn yourself out so once you've gone past eight hours you know at a push do nine but honestly you don't want to be going massively past it um especially not on a regular basis um and equally, within that eight hours, don't do eight hours in one go. Like, even if you just get up and stretch for a minute or two, you can't just sit there for eight hours working because you're not going to be productive. You're going to be staring off into space. Um, basically, it's about working smart and not hard. Um, so, yeah, yes, you might be working really hard doing eight hours in one go, but it's certainly not the most efficient way of doing it and therefore that work is almost unnecessary when there's a much easier way of doing it. Um, so yeah, you need a work-life balance because you can't just work. Because uh, like I said, like it's counterproductive and you will burn yourself out. So make sure that you are still doing the things that you like. Don't give up like all the clubs that you used to do. I remember lots of people gave up ballet and I'm like, well no because that's what you do to like switch off and now you've given it up so all you're doing is working um that kind of thing is definitely not a good idea i mean obviously if you are doing loads and you physically don't have time to do your schoolwork, then you might want to consider giving something up but if you're only doing a couple of things i think it's far more damaging to give it up another thing you could do is to get someone else to hold you accountable so maybe that's like one of your parents to say at the end of the day oh did you do x y and z or to get one of your friends to ask you oh um, have you finished that past paper and then send them pictures like proof that you actually did do it so you can't just go yeah i did and then you didn't um don't keep checking the time so you know like when a lesson is going really slowly and it's a subject you don't particularly like and you keep checking the clock well, spoiler alert, it doesn't make time pass any faster and I think if anything, it just makes the whole thing worse. Um, now, I'm a little bit hesitant to put this one in there, but it is something that's really helped me in the past. So, if it is going dreadfully and you cannot concentrate at all, then put on some TV that has adverts and then during the ad breaks you work and it basically inverts the amount of time that you should be like spending working and then free time during like your study hours but if that is the only way to get you to do it I suppose it's better than nothing so yeah definitely don't be relying on that one that one is like a worst case scenario situation but it can work so I have included it and finally, why are you struggling to stay motivated? Is there a specific reason why you're struggling? Is it that you don't like the subject you're doing? Are you burnt out? Because ultimately, if you don't address the reason why you're struggling so much, you're just going to keep 
encountering this problem. So, you know, it might just be that you're just having one of those days, in which case, fine. Try the things that I've already mentioned. But if this is something that you keep running into, then I think maybe you need to take a step back and think about why this might be happening and see what you can do more specifically about the reason. Um, so hopefully you found this video interesting. Make sure to like and subscribe for more similar content. Um, thank you for watching.